This is me. Hi. A player in Rust who has no idea how to build a farm base, but is determined to have the best farm on the server. And this is the biggest clan on the server. And they wanted what I had in my farm. Now, typically people running a farm base aren't the most talented when it comes to PvP. So it makes them easy targets for clans. But those clans are unaware that there's only one reason I'm building this farm base. And that's to bait them in. I intend to turn myself into the biggest target possible with this farm to test how I, as a solo, can do against the whole entire clan. But like I said, I don't know the first thing about building a farm base. So it was time for me to get over to the beach and figure it out. <clears throat> All right, we are in. It is me, Jay Tellis, back again with another video. And boys, I got a plan, and it's probably one of my best ones yet. I'm going to build a farm base and become the richest farmer possible. But not because I want to become a farmer, it's because I want to get raided. Clans seem to target farm bases because of all the valuable resources inside, so I figured if I build one, I could use that to lure some clans in. So I'm pretty sure I could probably get raided if I build a good one and I get rich. The only thing is I, I don't know how to build one. But before I get to figuring out how to build one, I think I got to give you guys a a special little thank you because boys we hit the 11 percent 11 percent of you guys that are watching the videos are subscribed and dude that is absolutely insane and you know i think that's worthy of that little special thank you that i was talking about if you know what i'm saying you know you know you guys have shown so much support to the point where i'm coming up on a hundred thousand subscribers now something i honestly i i didn't think it was gonna be possible but with the support you guys have been giving recently it's literally right around the corner and i just want to give you guys a huge thank you for that but you know if you guys still haven't hit that button yet you guys can still get in here before 100k that's all i'm saying and you know the people who are here before 100k they get that what what the what where did that guy just go what the what happened to my boy club tail he just disappeared. After Clubtail disappeared like my dad, it was time for me to head out and start collecting everything for the farm base. And the first thing I needed to start collecting was seeds and a whole bunch of them. Now, luckily I was finding every single seed that I needed, but I didn't realize that as I was picking up these seeds, I was getting closer and closer to a dangerous area. Bandit camp. Something that doesn't seem like it's dangerous from the outside. But once you get in there and you sit on one of those comfy couches with some scrap in your inventory, you're most likely going to end up losing it all. But there's still a chance you can win. So I had to give it a try. All right. If this is a one, we're going to gamble. But if it's not a one, we're going to gamble. Huh? <laughs> Hey, I mean, it was a one. <laughs> See, even he agrees. Uh, dude, I, I don't know what I want to go on, though. <laughs> Bro, I think Pigeon might be an extra chromey homie, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, for sure. Wait, wait. Oh my god, ten! Ten! Yes! Now, I may have won, but there's a reason why this place is so dangerous. And that's because, well, sometimes I don't really know when to stop. But I was about to get a suggestion that could pay off huge, or I could lose it all. Psst. Go 20. Psst. Go 20. Mother I know! I know! But do you know that you could get a free $2 to gamble with if you use code JTELUS on Rusty Loot? Rusty Loot just released cases and case battles, and they are insane. They also have coin flip, upgrader, PvP mines, and a bunch of other game modes coming soon. And as you gamble, you get raked back and climb the leaderboard, where the most active player gets rewarded with $2,000 in the weekly Bajuna. You also get a free daily case as you rank up, and that case just gets better and better as you rise through the ranks. At one point, you could even get a punishment mask from it. The offer on my code is limited, so if you want to claim the free $2, you can use my code JTELUS or click the link at the top of the description. And remember, boys, 18 plus, and don't be stupid. Uh, okay, okay. My ears. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, bro. Oh my god, I got two. What the? F what the? F what the? F 
Gamer Pigeon made the most insane call, and with all this scrap, I headed over to Outpost to buy all the material I would need for my starter base. But I was still unsure of the ideal spot for it. All I knew was I required a fresh water source for my farm. And after examining the map, the bottom right seemed like the place to be. Two rivers and a swamp. However, I was being watched before I even left the safe zone. So I had to slip out the other side of Outpost, and I wrapped all the way around the area until I got to the river at the bottom of the map. However, when I arrived, the river seemed quite occupied. What the balls? I got as close as I could get without getting absolutely murdered by the guys down there, but it seemed like this river was a no-go for us. Bro, it's like a village down there. Keep me away from that. Yeah, with there being full metal AKs down there and a base at seemingly every corner of the river, there was no shot I was going to be able to fit my farm base there. So I needed to find a different area to build it. But I was walking around with way too much loot on me, so I decided to make a little stash base for it. And then I could safely go out and explore my area. Ready, boys. We are all good now. All I need to do is go find a spot where I can fit this farm. And on my little exploration out there, I came across a body which had a lot of stuff on it that I could use right now. Thank you, little swish. And I wasn't out here for very long before I came across the perfect area for my farm base. I mean, living on here wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a tier two in here. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey. Living on this swamp could give me access to a fresh water source, large oil rig, and there's a base in the process of decaying with a tier two that has a chance to be absolutely loaded. But from what I could see, it seemed like someone was already checking this base out and they'd most likely be coming back. So to ensure that I'd be around when the base opened up, I went and grabbed all the stuff from my stash base and began construction on my new starter base. And the base I had in mind for this starter was something a little different than my usual two by one. It's actually a base designed by Dust. It's called the Nomad and the reason why it's special is well because of this bunker right here oh my god let's go i didn't break it so if this is correct i could just place that there and if i place this it breaks oh my god the bunker works yeah i got the bunker all set up and then i upgraded the whole base but still, I needed to start collecting resources for the farm. I planned to build a 4x4 four, four, four stories tall, and that was going to cost a lot of material. But materials aren't the only thing I need, because for a farm that big, I'd need 48 planter boxes to fill it. That's 96 tarp. Luckily, you could buy planter boxes at Bandit Camp for 30 scrap each, but for 48 planter boxes, that'd be 1,440 scrap. So after hitting nodes for a while, it was time for me to start getting some of that. I started the quest at Fishing Village for a pump shotgun and farmed up the ocean for a while. But I had a run in with the... Uh... <gasps> That's enough farming components for me. And with the components I got from the ocean, I crafted a python at the tier 2 in the decayed base and decided running large oil rig with no cards would probably be the best way for me to get some scrap. But before I had the chance to get on, I noticed someone was already on there. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is going to be a counter. Good thing I brought my diving set, baby. I swam as quietly as I could, taking off my diving tank so it didn't make a single sound when I got there. Now all I had to do was make this jump and hope they didn't hear me. Oh, please don't look down, man. They weren't looking down, so that means there's a chance that I made it on without a sound. But there's no chance they had to hear me. Nope. They called in the heavy scientists. And that means they didn't hear a thing. And I could use that to my advantage because the heavies are so loud, they wouldn't be able to hear a single thing I'm doing down here. And since they're taking the heavies on crane, I took the easiest route to get there. But there was no way of me getting out of the vents with those heavies there. So I just had to wait for the perfect moment to strike. Got him. Ugh. Jesus, dude, this AK is so low, bro. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to kill the other guy with it. God damn it, dude. That doesn't help my AK at all. Let's just get this kid's kit on, bro. His teammate just seems to be hiding. I knew there had to be one more guy left because I heard the M39 shooting. Oh, he was obviously hiding. And I didn't have enough durability or enough ammo in this AK to keep fighting. But I was willing to stick around and try to fight. Ugh. Yeah, I take back what I said about sticking around and fighting because this was too big of a risk to lose now. I had to get out of there. Thank you. Come again. 
And for going there with just a python, I think we came out pretty good. But unfortunately, I didn't get that much scrap. So I needed a new plan to get scrap. And that new plan was to take the AK I just got from large, repair it, and then go right down into the train tunnels with it. And after shooting every single bullet I had and recycling, I had 774 scrap. And with the scrap I just got and the scrap I had from earlier gambling, I finally had enough for the planner boxes. But I felt like buying them now would be a waste. I still didn't have anywhere near enough resources for the farm base. But there is something else I could spend the scrap on now. And that's crafting a tier 3 workbench, and then crafting up some explo ammo to get into the decayed base. Because yeah, the decayed base would be opening soon, but at this point if I didn't stick around the base for a while, I had a chance of losing all the loot. I didn't show it, but I was dealing with the guy that was coming around with a DV. Oh, so instead shit. of sitting around and giving him the chance to get the loot, I could craft up my tier 3, make some explo ammo, and raid right into it. Okay. Hey, meds. Holy guns! All right, a tier three. Holy sh! Dude, they're all full. Oh, dude, there's their comps box, and they got nine tarp it's for me, It's safe to bro. say this decayed base had everything I was looking for. Guns, comps, sulfur, and a tier three workbench I could sell once I get my shop set up. And since I don't have to spend any more time just sitting around waiting for it to open, I could use all my time now to collect all the material for the farm. But while I was going through the forest, I heard someone coming out of their base. Dude, I, I, I think I just heard someone walking around. Which base is it coming from? I think it's the one with the garage door. After scoping around, I figured out which base he was in. And then I realized that the base he was inside of was a horse farm. And if he was to come out with fertilizer, that could help my farm a ton. So I decided to wait around to see if I could catch him coming out. And there it was, all the fertilizer that I could need. But he was going to be pissed because all that fertilizer is worth around 1,485 scrap. So I just had to run. We need this poop. We need this poop. Getting this fertilizer was very important for the farm because it makes your crops grow even faster. So I made my way back to base as fast as possible to depot it. And then I went right back out to farming. But I wasn't the only one out here. What the hell were they doing with all that random loot on them, bro? I gotta get home. We made it. Let's fucking go. With another full inventory of farms secured and some more farm runs that were uncontested, I finally had enough material for this farm base. All I had left to do was figure out how the hell I'm gonna get my hands on a god clone. How to get the perfect clone in Rust. Bro, I don't wanna read all this shit. Yeah, reading and me don't really mix, so I need to come up with something else that I could do to get my hands on some clones. Then I thought about it. Why don't I just steal someone else's clones? I went around searching for some farm bases and there were two that I felt had the potential to have some good clones. But one looked like someone had already gotten to it, but they still did have Ortiz in their main base. And the bottom floor was sealed, so it had the potential to still have stuff inside it. But the safer option was not too far away from my base at a river. So I grabbed up some satchels and went over to check if they had any clones. These motherfuckers are growing nothing? They were growing pumpkins and corn, bro. You live on a river, why are you growing pumpkins and corn? Yeah, so the raid didn't get me anything I needed, but I did raid in and get the TC. And you know what? Now that I have the TC, and since he was so poor, I'm robbing him. Give me this, give me this. I'm gonna take this too. Yeah, you're not gonna have a single farm after I'm done. This is mine, mine, mine. Mine, 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 mine. I didn't even need half the shit I just stole from them, but damn. That's what they get for being poor. I'm taking it all.
They might not have had exactly what I was looking for from the farm, but at least I got a little something. And there was still one more farm that could possibly have some clones for me. It's just going to be a lot more risky to get into. And while heading over there, it looked like they just took Heli or their neighbors did. But either way, that meant that they were going to be distracted. And I wanted to use that to my advantage. I successfully managed to sneak back into the farm base, and when I went to check on them, it looked like they were still distracted at the heli take. So, I figured this was the perfect time to put the C4 on. But before the C4 even had a chance to blow, I started to hear something above me. The base owners were back, and I just had to grab everything and go. What the f*** is going on in here? This farm was even more empty than the last one. So I just decided to book it for the water again before the guy could have a chance to get on his roof. But I mean, it's all right. I guess it let us know that we were going to be the only farm on the server, but that also meant that there weren't going to be any shortcuts to get in some god clones. And just to really make sure that there was nothing in the base, I went back over just to check. And I mean, hey, I got two HLMGs and pretty much the boom bag that I used on the door. But it's not a god clone, and that's what we still need. And I got one more idea how I could get one. And that idea starts with me messaging someone over on Discord. And let's just say the guys I just messaged know their way around a farm. So much so that they even make songs about it. And these guys are what I would call a professional when it comes to farming. But their specialty is one thing, and that's weed farming. I got the weed farmers on to help me out getting some god clones, and this was going to speed up the process a lot more. Now, all I got to do is build my farm base. And this was gonna be one big farm. And now with the farm completely done, all we had to do was fill it up. And the first thing I needed to place down was this water pump. Nice. Now all we have to do is set up the sprinklers and lights. All right, where should I be putting these bad boys? You said one here? <laughs> all right, there we go. All right, and then uh, you just put the right between. You put the two, the two sprinklers. All right, sweet. That's it for the first floor. Nice. With the lights and sprinklers all placed, all I had to do now was place the planter boxes. But we ran out of those pretty quick, so I needed to start farming up some scrap for some more. But between my base and outpost, there was a guy on his roof with an L9 camping anybody who would walk around in the area. So I had to go get rid of him before I could do anything. All right, this is his base right here. Just as I was coming up on his base, he heard my feet and he was quick to get on his roof. But that was the plan because I wanted him up there. All I had to do was line up the shot. Kill them. And you see the thing with roof campers is they think they're safe because they're on their roof. But I brought a ladder. And apparently the roof camper had a friend. Killed him. I'm just gonna loot and I'm gonna jump right off. Wait, 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 you guys just start just start running around over there. I'll use you guys as bait. I'm dead. That's all right, that's all right. They're gonna peek down. Took one. Took the other. They're both dead. Ooh. I got his gun. Now this time, I don't quite think their roof worked out for them. Because it was a special delivery of two full AK kits and an L9. And I'd be taking one of those brand new kits they just gave me right down into the train tunnels. And I wasn't coming out until I had enough scrap for all the planter boxes. And while I was doing that, the weed farmers were back at base setting up all the pumps and all the electricity. And they seem to have made a new friend. Are you fishing? Yeah. Man. Who, who the hell is this fisher yeah. guy, bro? Hey, oh. hey, morning. Nice day for fishing, ain't it? Now, you might be wondering who the hell is this weird dude fishing off our base? And if I'm being honest, I got no fucking clue at this point. But he ends up supplying us with something yeah, really important. Like Berry clones. At one point, he had a farm of his own, but it ended up getting raided. But the raiders didn't get everything. So he ended up giving me a nearly perfect clone for a yellow, red, and blue. And these three clones might not seem like much, but this saved us hours of work. And while waiting for the berries to grow, I planted a bunch of hemp seeds to pass the time. And it wasn't long until I had my first harvest. And from there on out, the farm started to grow pretty quick. Oh, berries. 
After hours of just sitting around farming, I finally had enough berries to start producing some teas. But how was I going to start attracting the clans to me? Well, I had a plan for that. I want to wall in the swamp completely to make me even bigger of a target. Plus, set up some guns, teas, and anything else valuable in a shop. But that wasn't the only part of my plan that I had. Because the most important part of my plan is becoming an absolute menace. I need to go be the most annoying person possible to these clans. Steal guns, loot, anything I could do to get on their radar. And it wasn't long before I had the opportunity. Because some Someone just took down Heli a few grids away from my base, and I was gonna go try to steal it from them. Knowing that I'd be at a disadvantage as a solo, I decided to craft up some night vision goggles and a suppressor to give myself the advantage. But I was coming up on Heli quick, and if I didn't come in from the right position, I'd be seen instantly. So I gotta be real careful where I stand. It's so hard to see with this hollow at night, dude. What the hell? Dude, there's so many of them. What the fuck? I was taking one after another out, but it just felt like an endless supply of people coming. So I had to get in there and loot the guys I killed before I lost anything. There it was. Most of the heli loot on this one guy. But the nakeds weren't done coming back yet. Dude, he was looking for something. And there it was, an M249. And at this point, I just had to go. I couldn't be greedy. I couldn't risk losing any of this stuff. Holy moly ball sack, bro. I just robbed him. That win felt good. I don't know who those guys were, or even if they're part of a clan, but what I do know is they wouldn't be happy about losing two C4, three rockets, an L9, and an M249. But as much as pissing people off is the main part of the plan, there's still some other stuff I need to do before I wanted the clans poking around here. And the first thing I gotta do is wall off this swamp. But I figured it was about time for me to start taking advantage of my farm. So I put down a bunch of mixing tables, got a whole bunch of blue and yellow berries, and turned those berries into basic teas to the basic teas and turned them into advanced ore teas and took the advanced teas and turned them into pure ore teas <laughs> seven pure ore teas and now with the first seven of my pure ore teas in hand i was gonna take one of them right out and use it to farm up all the material i would need to build this complete compound around the swamp After spending a whole bunch of time farming, I had nearly a box of stone. So I grabbed up some of it, went over to Outpost, and traded it all in for wood. And once I had all that wood, I crafted up some walls, and then I was ready to start building my compound. But before I had the chance, Heli came out. And if I was to take Heli, that would let people know that I'm down here. And you know, that's the whole goal. So I had to take Heli. Oh, she's coming. Ow, 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 ow. Come on, go down! Uh. Dude, Heli just goes away instantly, bro. Alright, it's down. And with Heli now on the ground, all I had to do was go secure the crates. But taking down Heli attracted a few people to my area. Oh my god, I didn't see that guy until he started moving around. Now, I may have taken that guy out, but he wasn't the only one left. I was getting surrounded. Oh, this crate went out. Dude, what are these crates? They're fucking terrible. Oh, let's go. Hey, I'll take that. The heli was great, and with the C4 and rockets I got from here, I now have a total of four C4 and six rockets. And that's definitely enough to do some sort of a raid. But remember what I said about taking heli. And if I was to take heli, that would let people know that I'm down here. And well, it did. Because it didn't take long for me to start hearing footsteps outside of my farm base. Dude, I'm getting door camped right now. Oh, help me. Bro, get off my roof. I don't like you on my roof. Please, bro, please. Are you gay? Are you gay? Yeah, I'm gay. What about you? Oh, I'm super gay. Oh, super gay. Super duper gay. 
You guys think he has a DB? Where are you from, boy? I'm from uh, Africa. Hey, what's up, man? Why are you on my roof? Ah, get away from me! Your room. Hey, hey. No, 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 no. I want to kill you. I want to kill you. Stop, stop. Ah, why are you? Why are you following me? Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. Wait, wait, wait. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. Ah. Slow, slow, slow. Ah. What talk? Oh What's your name? What's your name? Uh, I'm the super gay. My name is super gay. Yeah, uh, I don't really know what the hell is going on, but they really wanted to know my name. And after absolutely breaking their ankles down in train tunnels, I took their little visit as a sign that I should probably go and get these walls down. And now with all the walls set up, there's only one thing left that I have to do to get ready for the clans. And that's build some sort of a main base. Because yes, my farm base and my starter base are two strong bases, but they don't have much defendability for an online raid. But at this point, I was sick of farming. So I needed a new way to get some farm. And I figured this was the perfect time for me to crack out the C4 and the rockets I've been collecting from the heli take and the heli counter. Now all I gotta do is figure out a base that'll be some quick profit. And I remember the guy that loved his roof earlier in the day lived in a pretty small base and that had to be the perfect profit raid oh yeah farmer conrad got on to check how the farm was doing so i figured he could come along for the raid all right they left the door open baba boy Bro, this was the third base I raided into with no loot inside of it. And you know, it was uh, it was getting a little frustrating now. But I still had a little bit of boom left, and on my way home, I seen a half HQM 2x2. And I figured, why not crack it open? You good? Oh my god. Alright, well, this one's not empty. Holy! I'm gonna go grab one rocket, just sit in there. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright, it's all sealed. Oh. My. God. This one de definitely was not empty. Holy! The base was insanely loaded, and with all these metal frags, I could easily finish my whole entire main base. But I didn't know what base I wanted to build at this point, so I opened up YouTube like any normal person, till I came across the base by dust that looked pretty sick, so I spent a while just watching the tutorial building the base, and once it was finally done, I was ready to start baiting in the clans. I set up my shop on the roof selling all the items from my farm, and then started undercutting any group selling items that I had in my shop, and that ended up making me the cheapest shop on the map which would definitely draw in some attention. And with the shop all set up, it was time for me to go around and start being a menace again to get some attention. And it wasn't long before I heard a mini flying around close to my base. I had to go check that out. This mini's flying really low. Dude, what are these guys doing? Oh. Bro! Bro! They're like hovering over this base. Dude, what are these guys doing? They're just hovering in the mini. All right, well, <laughs> one of them's dead. What the hell was going on with them? Where the hell is his body? Here it is. What the I don't know what those guys were doing, but I gladly took the free C4 and the free mini. And then I took a little break to go eat. And when I got back, I noticed large oil rig was getting taken. And I still needed some components for turrets. So I figured the best way to get them is to go try and steal all the components from the people already on large. Now I made it onto the beam, but I could tell that these guys were a lot lower down on large. So they probably heard me get on. And from the sound of it, they were looking for me. These guys are just running around above me. Like, right above me. Oh. I just barely managed to kill that guy with the last bullet in my gun, and I used that opportunity to rush as fast as I could onto large. But he had friends. 
After just barely being able to take that guy out, I could hear one more walking above me. This fight wasn't over. Dude, holy shit, I can't believe I just killed that kid. Now, the last one wasn't making much noise, but I knew he was there because I heard him after I killed his friend. So I took the safest way I possibly could up to the top, but I still had no idea where he was. Dude, this guy hasn't made a sound. Oh, there he is. Dude, the railing. Did he jump off? Oh no. <laughs> he bled out. Now yes, I did kill all three of them now. And that should be the whole counter. But they weren't gonna give up on this oil rig yet. Another L9, bro? I usually never get L9s. There's literally so much loot, I can't hold all this. I'm gonna probably end up needing to do trips. My oh, shit. This must be them coming back. Well, here they come. Jesus Christ, dude. I didn't want to fucking GL myself. Okay, they're all dead. Dude, that was way too close. Oh, they sunk my boat with all my loot. <sighs> After killing that trio again, I don't think they were too Save, happy. But I didn't care because I got the stuff that I needed for the you turrets. Are. And I pissed some people off while doing it. But those weren't the type of guys that I wanted to make enemies of. I wanted the bigger groups. So, I made the journey over to the richest shop on the map to introduce myself. Jesus fucking ballsack, bro. When I got closer to the base, I heard them talking to another player. I didn't really get to hear what they were saying, but I could tell they weren't on the same team. And I needed to make an entrance, so I wasn't going to let them continue talking. Uh, he, that was uh, interesting. No more talking. He's dead now. He's dead. What the fuck were you? I'm a farmer. That's who I am. I'm also a messenger. You hear me? I hear you. Nah, I don't believe that. Yeah, I am a messenger. What am I? R16. The best shop on the map. R16 wants you to go over and talk to them. They said you're scared to come over there. Kill it. Don't kill this. They're telling someone to come out and kill me. Now these guys seemed like the people I wanted to come to my base. So I stuck around their base being the most obnoxious person I could be until they finally came over to check out my base. We actually ended up having a pretty chill conversation. I even showed them the inside of my compound, which uh, probably wasn't the smartest decision, but the conversation ended up ending with them saying they might come raid tomorrow, but their teammates were more interested in raiding someone else at the moment. And they only had five people on right now, so it definitely wouldn't be tonight. But just hearing that a raid might be coming tomorrow, I was hot. So, I started making plans, and the first thing was get some more turrets. I needed computers and laptops, I needed to set up locker kits, and I had to get some more beds down. But before I could even start my plan, I heard a sound above my head. They were coming. Oh my god, I'm getting fucking MLRS. Jesus fucking Christ, they're raiding me. Dude, they literally said tomorrow, bro, I'm not ready. See, now when I was talking to them, they gave me some true details and some fabricated ones. Well, they did say they'd raid me. It's just a little earlier than I expected. And they also lied about one more thing. There's a lot more than five. I was not expecting this to happen right now. They're not rocketing yet. Maybe they're going to build a raid base or something. I need a hollow. Fuck. Dude, 
dude. They are spread out so far. I don't even know where I just died from. And now they're pushing up to Rocket. These guys came a lot more prepared than I expected. They had all of their players sit back just watching every angle of my shooting floor until they put me on timer and then pushed up with four launchers to absolutely level my base. Dude, it's fucking over, man. And there was nothing I could do but listen to the rockets hitting it. Luckily, the timer on my farm base wasn't as long as my main base, so I spawned in there and grabbed the kit. And they were everywhere in my compound. What the fuck is this guy doing? Now I just had to make it back over to my main base, but it was a lot easier said than done. Dude, they're everywhere. Now, at this point, it felt like the end. All my beds in my main base were destroyed, but I still had my bag in my core, and I wasn't going to give up on this base yet. All right, they're not in here yet. What do I even have in here? All right, I got an AK in here. Now, it was down to this. One AK left and one life, and they were only a few doors away from the core, but I wasn't going to give up on my base yet. I still had one more shot. All right, well, this is all I got, bro. I honestly, uh, I don't know how the hell I'm gonna pull this off. I just have to time it. Ooh, <laughs> I killed like fucking three of them. I think there's only one more left. <laughs> well, uh, that didn't really go how I planned. I'm definitely no alone in Tokyo, but hey, at least the clan came. I suck!